Is up some regulations so hospitals can add hospital beds and help get staff as Virginia deals with this latest peak. More than 3,500 people are currently in the hospital in Virginia with COVID-19, and the number of people in the ICU has more than doubled since December 1st. Hospitals are feeling the strain. And to try and help Northern them, Virginia today, Governor Ralph Northam put Virginia under a state of emergency, which helps loosen up some regulations so hospitals can add beds and bring in additional staff if there are staffing shortages due to people getting sick. I watch the numbers every day, and I'm in close contact with our health systems. They need our help. Hospitalizations are now at their highest point in the entire pandemic. Northam says while Omicron appears to be less severe than other strains, more people are getting it because of how contagious it is and hospitalizations are going up. He says the majority of people winding up in the hospital are unvaccinated. The actions we've talked about today will help our hospitals and their staff get through this current surge in COVID cases. The order will last for 30 days. Modeling from the University of Virginia predicts cases will continue to rise until later in the month and then things could quickly go back down. UVA modelers also say the Omicron variant is estimated to be responsible for 94 percent of cases in Virginia and has overtaken Delta. With vaccines available, Northam says any decisions should be based on case severity and not case count. Case numbers are high, yes, and that's a reason for concern, but but not a reason for panic. Northam held about 70 of these COVID press conferences over the last 22 months, and this is his last as he leaves office on Saturday. And so Governor-elect Glenn Youngkin will take office on Saturday, and a member of his transition team says Youngkin supports these actions. I'm Brendan Ponton, News 3. As COVID-19 